Yo, 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 it's the Millionaire Trader. Obviously, you're checking in, guys. Y'all know what's going on. We're going to do an analysis on Great British Pound USD. But first, you guys, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, guys. And also comment. If you're new, comment new subscriber, guys. So, uh, yes, y'all remember in the analysis before I said if the fundamentals shake up in either favor, whether it's I said the fundamentals was negative sentiment in the U.S. dollar index as far as the U.S. Uh, U.S. economics, if it went negative, we was going to go up on Great British Crown USD. If it went positive, US, uh, Great British Crown USD was going to go down. So previous analysis, we did have, I did have a trend line here falling right here. I see, and I also said it could possibly fall instantly, but that's not happening because we was waiting on fundamentals. So we were here and it came down and it powered up and through the price. I said, if it breaks the previous high, which it did here, and it came back down and retested that back down to the confident price at 1.35000, came back and retested that area. And got back out of there. We came and we have we had a break of 3600. So it did reach the target price, the price target at 3600. Came back down again and gave you guys another entry to reach it again once more. And at this point, we're talking about uh 3537. We're talking about 70 pips here that you could have been got right here. Okay. So right now the market's currently uh falling out. So we have a uh, high impact news today. Federal uh, Fed Chair uh, Chairman Jerome Powell will be speaking today. Will be testifying today, and we'll see what kind of what kind of sentiment uh, reaction he causes with the words he say today. If you know, if it becomes, you know, uh, he try to give some positive information on far as tapering and uh, some microeconomics, far as stabilizing the economy, and uh, the, you know, try to uh, figure out this jobs situation and unemployment situation. We'll see what's going. We'll see what kind of monetary policies he's going to do, or whether it's going to uh, pull back the money, still pull back more money from the uh, bonds, or take money off the take money off the market by taking by taking some of the currency back from what they put back in the market. So that can be an issue. That can be something that can be on the table as well. But. Right now, if that if those things happen, we can expect a pullback, possible pullback, back down to thirty five hundred. And after this pullback, if it breaks through here and continue to move to the price support, it's going to be a very strong pullback. But a very strong pullback can possibly give us a very powerful move to the upside, because if the sentiment is negative, it's negative. We're going to get that means GU will move up. Okay, so we're talking about probably next target 1.37000 1 and also 1.3668. Now, if it breaks this previous low, okay, guys, if it breaks this previous low, we can expect downside movement. Okay, if it breaks this previous, uh, this, this previous low and the support level, we can expect downside movement. I doubt that happens. I believe it may come, come back down to the key level price area in the conflict zone. And possibly get out of here. And you know, sometimes guys, it may not even even take that much uh, price move to the downside to uh, get it to move to the upside. So possibly can come between the uh, previous high and also the uh, previous resistance again, and then get out of there. So maybe not go, maybe not go so low, but we're standing on on top of the twenty three point six percent. It's back up there, and it could be moving back up to the zero uh, percent, which is the previous high. I got this marked on the uh, higher time frames, guys. So the, you see right here what a zero percent is. It's at one point four two five zero. We doubt it goes that high. You know, I mean this part this early in the year, <laughs> so we're not expecting that, guys. But right now we're in, we're, we're pulling back on the market. Right now, the market's moving down to pull back. So you know it could probably hit this previous high and bounce and, and move to the upside. You know if it continues to making uh. Higher lows, guys. So we got higher low here, higher low here, and higher low here. 
continue to make higher lows, this will be the next target for a higher low and come out of there. And possibly it, it may not even go that far. It can go down to the uh, supply and demand support down at 35.71 and bounce out of there. That's on the quick side. That's if, that's if we have a quick turnaround on price. Anything that's anything longer than that, we're talking about maybe here, following to the next to the next day, well, the next few hours, because this could be a, a high volatile move. Bounce here and get out of there. So these are these are the targets that you know these are all the targets that we're possibly can go at and bounce. If it break through these targets, just bust bust all the way through and drop a long gas red candle, guys. We're expecting this thing to really move, start moving down. Okay. That means we have we got some really good news in the market as far as the uh, dollar index goes and the uh, U.S. economy goes, okay? But, uh, yeah, we did reach the target twice, so that's, you know, the first analysis was correct, guys, so everything was smooth. But uh, this is the Great British Pound USD analysis and also results video. Everything went smooth, guys. But Alex is checking out. Hey, make sure you... Uh, Watch it in, guys. Y'all shot it. Uh, I definitely appreciate that, okay?